appear to bless you all with the word of God by authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that for me to speak a word with you all as the head of which is the head of the church so I'm here this evening to bless you all with the word of God that says God open the womb of barren I don't know where you are buried for life. God Almighty is said that be fruitful and multiply. You shall be fruitful in Jesus' name. This more happy new month too to everyone. This month, whatsoever you have been pregnant for since January, February, God Almighty will fully deliver all for you this month in the mighty name of Jesus. All the Lord restore for you this year, He shall surely fully deliver to you this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive fruitfulness wherever you bury in life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, my dear brethren, I'm going to talk about the burial. The Lord opened the womb of barren. For the beginning when God created heaven and earth, he said that we should be fruitful and multiplied. Nowhere he said that we should be barren. Nowhere, 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 nowhere. I decree fruitfulness upon you today by the power of Holy Ghost, by the power of eternal. I decree fruitfulness upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. What happened? Sarah. The Lord opened the womb of Sarah at old age. He bear a fruit, a fruit, he bear a seed. The name that we are still talking about today. He bear a seed. Isaac, we are still talking about it today. That your heavy enable destiny children. That the Satan knows. That is just one excuse to, uh, to order to hold you down today. Almighty God is disconnect you. Whatsoever Satan I used to hold you, whatsoever Satan I used to bind you, that have that power over you today. Almighty God is breaking that yoke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As far as the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply, you shall be fruitful in Jesus' name. That your head, venerable destiny children, shall be delivered to you today by the power of Almighty, by the power of God of Jacob, God of Isaac, God of Abraham, it shall be delivered to you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Genesis, Genesis 18 verse 12, Sarah says, says, <laughs> Sarah says here, therefore, Sarah, the Lord has made me laugh. Today, Almighty God will make you laugh. You will fill your mouth with laughter. Almighty God will take away your reproach. At old age, God Almighty visited Sarah. He visited Sarah. He visited Sarah. Sarah brought forth fruit and he bear Isaac that we are still talking about today. Almighty God, today you are escaped. Whatsoever Satan I used to burn you today, you are escaped for it in Jesus' name. Psalm 124, verse 7 says, Our soul is escaped as a bear out of the out of the snake of the fowler. The snake is broken. And we are escaped. You are escaped for whatsoever the Satan I used to bind you. That make you to bury. You are escaped. Almighty God is breaking that yoke today by the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the rushing wind, by the power of Holy Ghost of Almighty God. He is disconnecting you whatsoever Satan has used as effort, has used as excuse, has used as excuse to hold you down, to hold your to hold you down. Today, you are disconnected for that power in the name of Jesus. You are receiving your, your heavenable destiny children today in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The right hand of the Lord is power. You are escaped for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Sarah bear fruit in the whole day and give birth to Isaac. Praise the Lord that we are still talking about today. We are still talking about today. What happened? 
I swear, Rebecca. What happened, Rebecca? You see Genesis. Genesis. Let's see what the Lord says in Genesis 30, verse 22. I read. And and Lord and God remember Sarah. So God remember Rebecca. So God remember Rachel. Sorry. God remember Rachel. So shall God Almighty remember you today in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will act unto your voice. All that you ask for God today, it shall be fully delivered for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It says, Genesis 30 verse 22, it says, And God remember Rachel, and God acted to her, and opened her womb. Your womb is open today to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Your womb is open today to receive your children by the powerful name of Jesus Christ of all Nazareth. He said we should be fruitful and multiply. We should be fruitful and receive your fruitfulness by the power of Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He opened the womb of Rachel. Praise the Lord. And 30, 30, uh, that is 30 verse 23 says, And she conceived and bare a son, and said, God has taken away my reproach. Almighty God is taking away your reproach today among me. Almighty God is taking away your reproach today among me. Almighty God is taking away your reproach. What do you think that there is no hope? What do you think that there is no way? Almighty God today is making a way for you out. A way out for you has come today. A way out for you has come. Whatsoever Almighty God has prepared for you he is fully delivered to you this month. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rachel said, The Lord has taken away my reproach. So shall it God take away your reproach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? So 23 says here, yeah, And when the Lord saw that, so that Leah was what hated. You see, what happened for the beginning is this. God literally opened the womb of Rachel. Almighty God will open your womb today for you to receive your children in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What happened to, uh, to Rachel? Uh, Rachel, Rachel give birth to Benjamin. Rachel give birth to Joseph that we are still talking about today. Your heavy neighbor child that said that knows that said that is using one excuse that another that today God Almighty is releasing to you by the power of Almighty, by the power of Creator, by the power of God of Universe, is releasing to for you today in the mighty name of Jesus. But God is greater than greatest, He is the creator of universe, He is freeing it for you today by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, what happened to Anna as well? Anna, Anna, what happened? Anna also prayed. The Lord answered him, answer her. Anna prayed. The Lord answered him. What happened? Anna also gave birth to someone that we are still talking about today, my dear brethren. All that was buried from Genesis to, to for Genesis to New Testament, uh, Old Testament to New uh, the. A New Testament. They all give birth to heaven evil destiny. They all give birth to children that we are still they are we are still sure, we are still talking about them today. Your own will fully deliver to you today in the name of Jesus. No power have power over you. Satan has no power over you. Enough is enough for the reproach. Enough is enough for the reproach. Enough is enough. Almighty God is taking that coat away for you today in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and wear you the garment of victory and rejoice in the Lord. Sarah said, The Lord that make me lie, I fill my mouth with laughter. You shall laugh and rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I give birth to Samuel. Samuel that we are still talking about today. Amen. What happened as well? Elizabeth. Elizabeth also gave birth to John. We are still talking about today that was called Barry. Amen? He gave birth to John that we are still talking about today. Your own will the deliver to you today in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So let's take a look at let's see what the Lord says here. 
in praise the lord let's see what the lord says here look look 1 verse 27 and 57 and 58 i'm going to read now elizabeth full time came that she shall be she shall be delivered and she brought have he brought forth a son and and her neighbor and colleagues heard how the lord has shown great mercy upon her and they rejoice with her so shall your enemy rejoice with you god almighty we answer you take away your reproach they that mock you they all will come and celebrate with you in the mighty name of jesus there's a mock you, they all will come to come and celebrate this good God with you. Almighty God is visiting you today by the power of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's visiting you today by the power of Almighty. Everybody shall receive fruitfulness in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord says here, yeah. the Lord says here, yeah. Psalm, Psalm, one, uh, Psalm 113 verse 9. Look at what the Lord says here. He says, He act, he make the bury women to keep house and to be a joyful mother. Hallelujah. Of children. Praise you, the Lord. He make the bury women. How many did I count for you? How many did I count? Old Testament and New Testament. The Lord made us full truth and bear a seat that we are still talking about today. And he's still the same God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's still telling you that you'll be fruitful. Now, in nine months' time, your those that mock you, they all will come and celebrate with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, made barren women. To be a joyful mother. Hallelujah. He made the barry women to be a joyful mother. Hallelujah. So shall God Almighty visit you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing God cannot do with God. All things are possible. What is not possible for men? With God, remember. With God, all things are possible. He's the God of impossibility. Nothing he cannot do. Nothing he cannot do. Nothing he cannot do. He has visited you today in by the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You shall be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the Lord. He also says here in Isaiah. He says here in Isaiah. Remember, he says, No weapon that form against thee shall prosper. Praise the Lord. And every tongue that rises against you, rises against thee in judgment, condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. So shall it be to you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No weapon form against you shall prosper. All those that form against you for many years, God's judgment be upon them today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That yoke is broken today by the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That yoke is broken. By the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ephesians also says, Ephesians 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. Receive your receive your receive your blessing today receive that fruit of whom your womb answer to the voice of god today your womb receive the voice of the most high god today fruitfulness born upon you in the mighty name of jesus whatsoever satan i will use to lock your womb up today is open by the powerful name of jesus he is able to do all things by the power of almighty that power will 
visited you today, that power of the Most High God. He will visit, visited you today. He has done it for Sarah. He has done it for Rachel. He has done it for Anna. He has done it for Elizabeth. He will do it for you today. He's the same God. The same God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. Receive your fruitfulness. Be fruitful and multiply. He said in Genesis, we shall be fruitful and multiply. You shall be fruitful and multiply in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, no barren in the land. No barren in the land. You shall be fruitful. You shall be multiplied to the glory of the Most High God. In the mighty name of Jesus, he that is able to do all things, he will visit you today. He will take away that reproach away in your life in Jesus' name. He will take away away that reproach. As, as, as Rachel says, the Lord has taken away my reproach. Almighty God will take away your reproach today among men in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What seems like you think that there is no hope? You think that the old, the old, the old world is against you. You think that all hope is gone. Almighty God said to tell you today you shall be fruitful. Not in nine months time you will be fruitful and carry your child. Those that mock you will come and celebrate with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be fruitful to the glory of God in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your time has come. Be fruitful and multiply. Your womb receive the hear the voice of the Lord be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. He also says here in he also says here in, in Galatians. See what the Lord says, 4 verse 23. He said, But he who was of the a, a, a born woman was born after the flesh. But he uh, he of the free woman was by the promise. Praise the Lord. Die your promise, children. Die your heavenly destiny, children. Receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He also says here 22. The same Galatians says it, uh, 4 verse 22 says here. For it is written that it is written that Abraham has two sons. The one by a by a um, by the uh, uh, by the bomb woman, the other by the free woman. Amen. Is the one that Sarah that gives birth. Sarah gives birth to Isaac. Praise the Lord. That's part the barrenness. Is it come to the fruit? Is it come to the glory of God? The other one. The Lord says, the Lord Almighty will visit you today. He will visit you today, take away your reproach, make you laugh, fill your mouth with laughter. As Sarah laughed, as Sarah laughed, the Lord take away the reproach among men. So shall it be to you in Jesus' name. He says in Genesis, Genesis says, Genesis 1 verse 28 says, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. I declare upon you today, be fruitful and multiply in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord said that we should be fruitful and multiply. You shall be fruitful and multiply in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing he cannot do is God of impossibility. Say your children shall surrender your table. He said your children shall surrender your table. So said the Lord of hosts. He said, Your children shall surrender your table. Your children shall surrender your table in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every power seated on in it, that strong man submits itself today. God judgment be upon that strong man today in Jesus' name. God judgment be upon that strong woman today in Jesus' name. Almighty God has judged them today. God is greater than them. That power is broken by the power of Almighty, by the power of the creator of the universe. That power is destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power resisted today. The judgment of the Lord be upon them in the name of Jesus. As far as the Lord said that be fruitful and multiply, you shall be fruitful and multiply and multiply to the glory of God 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He that seated above is greater than they all. He that seated above is mighty, is greater than they all. Is able to do all things, able to subdue all things to himself. Today, Almighty God is free you today. God of universe is visiting, visiting you today in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rachel, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Elizabeth, Elizabeth say, The Lord has taken away my reproach among men. So shall the God Almighty take away your reproach among men today in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With God, all things are possible. Nothing he cannot do. With God, all things are possible. In the mighty name of Jesus, say your children shall surrender your table, so shall it be. He say your children shall surrender your table, so shall your children surrender your table. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your children surrender your table. In the powerful name of Jesus, God is greater than greatest, is mightier than mightiest, he is the greater of universe. He is God of impossibility. With God, all things are possible. Nothing he cannot do. He is able to do all things. And he will do it for you today. He will do it for you today. Almighty God will visit you today. He will visit you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be fruitful. I declare fruitfulness upon your life, upon your soul, upon your womb, in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough is enough for secret tears. Enough is enough for secret tears. Almighty God said today, enough is enough. He's taking that garment away for you today in the mighty name of Jesus and give you the garment of joyful. He said you shall be joyful. Your children shall surrender your table. That's what he says, Psalm 113. That's what he says, yes, Psalm 113 verse and Psalm 113 verse 9 says, He made the barren women to keep hers and, and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise you, the Lord. So shall it be unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. He also says in Psalm that your children, that your children will surrender your table. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Your children, children shall surrender your table in the powerful name of Jesus. Your heavenly neighbor, destiny, children, today, Almighty God is delivered it for you in the powerful name of Jesus. With God, all things are possible. Nothing he cannot do. The Lord is the God of impossibility. He will visit you today. He will do it for you. He has done it before. He has done it for Sarah. He has done it for Rachel. He has done it for Anna. He has done it for Elizabeth. He will still do the same for you today. He is the same God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. He remains the same. He will do it for you. Receive your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, say no barrier the land. So therefore, the power of barrier is broken. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever mighty God have for you, he shall be fully delivered to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every power holding it shall go down for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God says in Proverbs, those that dig pits, they will fall into their pit in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be fruitful and multiply to the glory of the Most High God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Enough is enough for secret tears. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Mighty God has put an end today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Psalm 126 says, When the Lord turned against the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. Hallelujah. Then, then, was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing? Them, them say the among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. Hallelujah! 
So shall the Almighty God do great thing for you today in the name of Jesus. Take away your sorrow, take away your secret tears, take away your secret tears in the mighty name of Jesus. And decree fruitfulness upon you as it done it to as it done it for to Sarah, as it done it to Elizabeth, as it done it to Anna, as it done it to Rachel. So shall it be unto you in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Almighty God say be true true and be multiply in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My dear brother and sister, I'm going to leave you here. I don't know where you are barren life, wherever you are barren life, Almighty God is turning to fruitfulness for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever Almighty God has restored for you since January to this October, this month, all shall fully deliver to you in the mighty name of Jesus, to the glory of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed. The blessings of the Lord will not depart for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stop crying. Cry have no <laughs> cry have no solution. It's to remember God is word. Remember God is word. He's God of impossibility. Nothing cannot do. With God, all things are possible. Nothing God cannot do. There is a lady that I met a few a few and that was December of it. I met this lady. Today, this lady has put off to bed to a bouncy baby girl, to the glory of God. Nothing God cannot do. I spoke to that lady. That, that was that December. I told you that God will do it for you. Really, God has done it for her. He, does, he did not pass that week. The same that week that I declared that word for, for her. That same week, God answered her. To the glory of God, today what I would have put to bed, to the glory of God. Receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. God is able to do all, all things. Nothing God cannot do with God. All things are possible. He is able to do all things. It's for you to believe. Remember God is one. Remember God is one. Father, you said we should be fruitful and multiply. No barrier among, among his children. Father, I declare to this I declare to this situation to depart from me. My life to be fruitful. I declare fruitfulness upon my own. You said my children will surrender my temple. Remember God is one. Remember him. In his world, you say my children shall surrender my temple. So therefore, I declare to my children to surrender my temple in the mighty name of Jesus. God is greater than all. Receive your all in the your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be fruitful and multiply to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you are not give your life to Christ, my dear brethren, for you to give your life to God, there is no other name among men that we may be saved than this name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By this name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it says, "Set a man be born again." He cannot, he, shall, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That's what he said, John. John, John, the uh, John one verse three. That's what he says. Praise the Lord, my dear brethren. If you are not give your life to Him, it's for you to give your life to Him. He also says in Romans, "No salvation in order." No salvation. That's what he says. It says in Roma 10 verse, the Roma 10 verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Lord, that Lord Jesus shall, you believe you confess in your mouth, Lord Jesus, and believe that he came and died for us on the third day he rose again, he said you shall be saved. You shall be saved. And as of apostles also saved to us here, yeah, as of Apostle 3 verse 12 also says, say, neither is there is there salvation in any other. For there is no there is no salvation under heaven that among men that we may be saved. That name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Give your life to God and be saved. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have you ready to confess Jesus Christ is Lord? You say after me. Say, Lord Jesus. I submit myself to you. I come to you, Lord. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I know you died for me on the third days you rose again for me to be safe. Father, Lord, help me and lead me the way of your righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lead me, O Lord, wherever I sin against you, I ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. As you confess this, welcome to the welcome to the kingdom of God, to the family of Christ. May he lead you, guide you, and protect you in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you need him, may he visit you, oh Lord. May he visit you in 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the peace of the Lord be with you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed and be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. I use this platform to encourage anyone that is under that affliction. Know that God is able to do all, all things. Know that God is able to do all things above that more than you imagine. He has done it before and he will still do it for you. He has done it just to remember God in his word. Remember in his word. He's done it for them from the Old Testament and the New. Even the dead, he is still doing the same thing. And he will still do it for you. I speak about, tell you about the lady that I met in December. Today, nine months, that was the uh, month that just ended so that you give birth after nine months. So my dear brother and sister, nothing God cannot do. Remember God is what you shall be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that holds you down, that said that they will not leave you alone. As the Lord lives, they will fall into the pits they dig in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to every womb that the Satan has burned. I speak to them to be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. I disconnect you whatsoever Satan I used to hold you. Whatsoever Satan I used as a friend to hold your womb down. I lose your womb from me into the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak fruitfulness upon your womb in the mighty name of Jesus. Be fruitful by the by the name of God of Abraham, by the name of God of Isaac, by the name of God of uh, God of Jacob, be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. I deliver your heavy name of destiny, children, to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare fruitfulness upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your children shall surrender your table as the Lord said it. He said your children will surrender your table. So shall your children surrender your table in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret here are and have come upon it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be fruitful and multiply to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your womb. Womb, hear the voice of the Lord. Receive fruitfulness in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those that mock you, they all will come and celebrate with you. As Elizabeth, they all come to celebrate with Elizabeth. Those that mock you, so shall they all will come to celebrate with you, to celebrate this great God with you, to celebrate this God of universe with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Goodbye. Peace be with you in Jesus' name. Bye.